We cooked a settle the beef spell to see if Chuck was in Saffron Falls. Wait, Chuck? Why would he be here? Because after you froze the town, we made a curse-breaking cake that broke all the curses. <sighs> I didn't think of that. You didn't think of anyone but yourself. Classic Ida. Luckily, the spell didn't attract Chuck. However, it did attract all other beefs against Grandma Becky. Sorry, Grandma, I didn't realize so many people had beefs against you. Well, you live long enough. <laughs> Don't laugh. The entire town has a beef with you, Mama P. Ask me if I care. Except for you, Jake. I do regret what I did to you. Ask me if I care. I'm out of here. I'm out of here, too. You can't run away and forget what we did to Chuck all those years ago. It was an accident. But the damage is done. Chuck's gone forever, and we did that. Good riddance. And to you, too. Stop. Listen to yourselves. You used to be friends. Best friends. Hard to imagine. Why are you still fighting? Especially now that you have everything you've ever wanted. Mama P, you live in Paris. Miss Silvers, you can play piano in public again. And Grandma Becky, you're back with your family. I don't understand. It's complicated. Look at you. Hey, you're all still cursed, but not by magic. Until you can forgive each other, you're never going to be happy. We thought the problem at your door you can't ignore was Mama P, but it's not. It's the three of you and your own unhappiness, and that's really sad. Can unhappiness knock at the door? Chuck? Chuck? Chuck. Chuck.